Alrighty, I'm gonna do a quick video here for uh, some people to help you here with Direct TV. This is my Fire Stick after it's been fired up. Uh, if you've got an Amazon account, you set up your new Fire Stick. When you plug it in, it's gonna walk you through getting that set up, sign into your Fire Stick account, set it up with your internet, and then you're good to go. If uh, for starters on a new Fire Stick, you're gonna have to go over here to find, come down here to search, click in D uh, R, and you're gonna see Direct TV Stream pop up in there. You click on it, see that app right there? That's your Direct TV Stream app. You would click to download that to your Fire Stick. I've already got it, so I'm gonna come back out to the home screen. And when your home screen pops up there, you're going to see DirecTV here. Now you may not see it immediately. You're gonna to need to come over here to this little area. And that's gonna be your apps and programs or apps and channels, it says. When you come down here, if you pick it out, down here, for instance, I'm going to do, just for grins here, I'm gonna do Amazon Music. If you take the remote control, I don't know if it's focusing on that, let me, see if I can get it to focus here a little better. You take and push this little three line button here, and go back up the screen. Oh, let's zoom it back out a little bit. Oh, that's my chair. Duh, it's up here. I'm in trouble getting focused, I'm sorry. When you're under that little three line button I just showed you, if you push on it, gives you the option to move. If you move it to the front and click on it, it moves it to the front of that aisle there. So when I click the little home button on my remote, See how it moved Amazon Music to the very front right there? That's how you move DirecTV for your starting point right in there. You can move those if you'd like, but we're gonna go to DirecTV now. If I just click on that to sign in. Let me zoom this out just a little bit. There's my DirecTV app firing up. Start free trial. You're gonna come over here to sign in. And it's going to tell you sign in with QR code or sign in with remote. I'm going to sign in with remote because I have a user ID and I have a password. You just put your credentials that you set up as far as your username, normally an email address. And then the password would be what you created in the uh, email. And boom, then you're in, you're good to go. Just that simple.